Funding for the production of Public Square provided by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, working to improve the lives of vulnerable children. They looked at my disability as a weakness and they just took it and ran with it. My nine-year-old daughter had a knife pulled on her at Pajarito Elementary and was threatened by the bully that he would kill her if she let anybody know that he had a knife. So it's affected me my whole entire life, obviously. Um, I've never dealt with it. Um, I always thought I was alone. And um, I had no idea that other people went through the same thing I did. It's what my mom says, when you're getting in trouble, she'll put the fear of God in you. And that's what bullies do. They put the fear in the people. And from that fear, they take whatever they want. The elementary and middle school, 46% attribute bullying and the experience of repeated bullying at school as um, a significant factor in why they feel suicidal. If we throw him out of school and he's incarcerated, he's not going to learn anti-bullying techniques incarcerated. Um, and he's going to be a worse bully when he comes out. Welcome to Public Square, where civic dialogue takes center stage. We can't continue to tell kids that it's kids being kids, it's child's play, it's teasing, learn to get along with people. It just does not work. Today we explore bullying. The statistics are alarmingly high and the impact oftentimes devastating. It's certainly not a new problem. But in recent years, the rate and intensity of bullying have increased. We'll hear from people who experienced bullying as kids, and we'll meet parents whose children have been victimized by bullies. We'll learn about anti-bullying efforts in schools and the community. After that, we'll talk about possible solutions. We'll hear from State Representative Rick Miera, Christine Muir with the State Public Education Department, and Tana Burgos, Director of Student Services with Rio Rancho Public Schools. Before we get started, here's a little bit more about our topic. 